Lock bonds. Lock fighters. New rules of engagement. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week I checked out another versus movie and this time it is Bikini Girls vs Dinosaurs. And this 2014 film was directed by Kenneth Barker and stars Hannah Robson, Kalsari and Toria Pardo among others of course. The story of this movie is about these three bikini wearing space princesses as they are flung into the past by this evil space queen. And so while they're in the past, they have to look for plutonium to fuel their ship. Along the way, they have to fight dinosaurs. What will happen though? Well, you have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. Well, this is like an absurdist adventure, I would say. Lots of absurd things and strange and weird things happen with this one. You have these three bikini ladies and they're running around with dinosaurs and they're, you know, karate chopping dinosaurs and stuff like that. Other than that, yeah, so many absurd things happen. Like they find a rope ladder to the moon for no reason. And what else? They have this like subplot with this Muppet and I don't really understand what their deal is. Like, I'll clip it in here for you, though. Yeah, so they have this, like, strange Muppet creature that's just in there for, I don't know, what reason. And so if you do kind of like that absurd storytelling, then this might be an enjoyable 50 minutes for you. Other than that, I would say the costumes are pretty good. I know, you know, it's just a bikini for these three girls. But other than that, there's like this space robot guy that's pretty good. They have, again, that Muppet. Uh, they have the Space Queen. They have lots of other good costumes as well. With the CGI, I think the CGI is very serviceable, serviceable for what it is. It looks like the dinosaurs are, you know, walking on the ground and that type of stuff. So it is pretty good, especially since it is low budget. I heard they had like 10,000 pounds or something. And it seems like it's gone a long way with the quality of the costumes and, and CGI and stuff. And so all of that goes in it to, you know, make it seem like a fun passion project for someone. What else can I say? Well, I think the shooting and the sound quality is good. And you know what, what that means when we say that on this channel. But again, like it's that skill that goes into it that, you know, someone is passionate about, someone's taking the care to make sure it all works and stuff. So that's definitely good to see. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, if you've ever seen like a fan made film for like Star Wars or whatever, this has a very kind of similar quality to it where things are, you know, placed passionately together and all of that type of stuff. There are certain aspects of it that are just kind of like silly and, and low budget. Like they just, I don't know, they're just talking in a field or whatever and that type of stuff. So yeah, if you're not into like fan made quality movies, then this is probably not going to be for you. I don't think you could get away with that absurdist quality any other way for sure. So it does have that going for it. Other than that, some of the costumes are not the best as well. You know, it just looks like it's like brown tape sometimes. And the acting, some of the line delivery is... It definitely takes me out, I would say, of, of the movie. But as long as you don't mind kind of that fan-made quality and you can enjoy the absurdist nature of it, then this might be for you. Also, the budget definitely shows a lot of the time. Sometimes you'll have like just a tinfoil wall behind someone. Other than that, it just seems like it's random things happening randomly. That is that absurdist kind of storytelling, I would say. But again, it's just random things happening. I'm okay with random things happening randomly. I don't mind that for 50 minutes. That's fine with me. But I think that's not going to be for a lot of people. And what is random? Well, here's one random thing. My god, look at the size of that fridge. And here's another. Quick, that's handy. We'll hold it steady. So it's just random things happening. And yeah, I can stand it. It's not a problem, but it's it can be tough sometimes. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, like I said, it's very random. So if you just want to watch Bikini Girls do random things with dinosaurs, 
then yeah, sure, this one should be okay with you. As for a score, I have to give it the risky score of two because it's a risk if you decide to press play. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.